In this tutorial, we're going to see how to use some of AutoCAD's 3D viewing functions. And also we're going to see a component of AutoCAD called the Design Center and how to insert symbols uh, using the AutoCAD Design Center. Let's begin by just drawing one section of a bedroom by showing two walls. In this example we're going to draw uh, the two walls 15 feet by 12 feet. If you've ever closely examined the AutoCAD interface and the AutoCAD Architecture 2011 application, you may have noticed an icon in the top right corner of your screen of your drawing area. And what we have here is a thing called the View Cube. Now right now we're seeing the top view of our floor plan. But if you click on one corner of this view cube, you'll see that it actually takes us into a 3D view. And once we have it in a 3D view, we can see other sides of the view cube. So for example, if we wanted to view the front elevation of this room as it stands, we could just click on front. And once we're here, there's little arrows to the left, right, and above the view cube. Like if we click on the arrow to the right of the view cube, it'll rotate the drawing around so we're seeing the right side of it. Or if we want to go back to the front, we click on the arrow to the left of the view cube at this point, and then we're back to the front view. Also, there's the little house icon. This is what's called the home view, and this normally is a nice uh, 3D isometric view that's set up by default. And we'll see later how we can change this home view to our particular specifications. Also, if you select some things, like in this case I'm going to select the walls we just drew and click on the home icon, it will actually give us that 3D view, but it will zoom at a factor that shows us uh, the maximum viewport uh, highlight that shows the walls that we highlighted. So anything you select uh, before you click the home icon in the on the view cube, it will give you a, a zoom magnification that will show uh, those features you selected at the maximum zoom. Okay, let's hit the escape key to deselect the walls we had selected. And now let's go back to the home tab. Actually, we want to go to the view tab. And... If you look kind of in the middle of the ribbon, uh, once you've selected the View tab, you can see an uh, area called the Visual Styles. Right now we're seeing a 2D wireframe uh, visual style. That is, we can see the, the uh, walls in 3D, but you can see through them. Okay, they're just a wireframe. Uh, we can click on the down arrow next to the 2D wireframe visual style and you'll see some other visual styles uh, up here that we can choose from. So for example, let's pick the hidden vi visual style. And now it makes those walls look solid, as if anything behind the walls is hidden. And let's play with a couple others. Let's check out the conceptual visual style, maybe the shades of gray visual style. And you can see there's uh, a bunch of different effects you can get by choosing these different visual styles. And later on we'll actually see how to uh, create some of our own visual styles. Let's return to the 2D wireframe visual style for the purpose of this demonstration. At this point let's return to the uh, top view by choosing top in our view cube. And let's right click and choose zoom and right click again and choose zoom extent so we've filled up our drawing screen with our border again. And at this point let's uh, exit and let's erase a few things. We don't really need the dimensions and for this one we don't need the border right now either. So let's uh, select all those and hit delete to erase those. Now let's examine the design center and see how we can use the design center to actually insert some 3D furniture into our bedroom. You can find the Design Center by clicking on the Insert tab. And then over on the right end of the ribbon, 
where it says content browser there's a little down arrow let's click on that and choose on the design center option and you should have some kind of design center dialog box pop up at this point I'm not sure what tab will be uh, listed or shown in your uh, design center by default but we want to click on the AEC content tab and we're going to use imperial uh, symbols so let's click on the uh, imperial folder in the design symbol and actually if you click over in the left column on the plus symbol you can see things expand as we uh, click on these different plus symbols but we're going to look for some furnishing furnishings and under the furnishing tab we see accessories if we click on that folder we can see a bunch of different accessories and actually let's choose an accessory right now let's click on the dresser and mirror let's put a dresser and mirror in our bedroom so let's just right click on that symbol and click on insert and then let's close the design center or at least uh, minimize it auto hide it whatever you want to do here and we should see we have a dresser coming in at this point and a mirror and if you look at the symbol right next to the crosshair you see a small rectangle inside a larger rectangle uh, the small rectangle represents the mirror so let's place this kind of just inside the wall and I'm going to change my snap at this point uh, back to even inches from three inches so let's just put it inside the wall a little bit maybe even zoom in so we can see a little better uh, let's place it toward the front of the room or the bottom of the screen along your wall and once you have it there you've got a, uh, a, a dresser with a mirror and it's going to allow us to put in more of these if we wanted to but let's just right click and hit enter at this point however the uh, dresser is not uh, pointing the right way in our our room it's going through the wall we don't want it to do that so let's click on the dresser and you should see a little blue handle up here let's click on that little blue handle and then right click and tell AutoCAD we want to rotate this dresser and let's rotate it around till it's inside the room and parallel with our wall of course notice there's a little space uh, between the wall and the dresser that there should be a little space because normally you don't have furniture right uh, against the wall there's a little, there's always some space between the wall and the furniture so let's hit escape to deselect that and I want to close my design center it's kind of in my way but now let's click on the home uh, icon in the view cube and you should see we have a nice 3D dresser now. Again, you can go back to the View tab, play with some of the uh, different visual styles, and see some nice effects. We're going to stick with 2D wireframe for right now. And we'll go back to the top view in our View Cube. OK, let's return to the Design Center. I had to uh, turn mine off because it was in the way, but yours may still be on. Uh, one thing you may want to do, especially if you're using a dual monitor system, is just move this design center onto another monitor so it stays open at all time. You don't have to fill with the auto hide or turning it off and on. But uh, we, where were we? We were looking at uh, accessories. We had the accessories folder open. And we had inserted a dresser mirror. But now we're looking for some beds. Let's put in a king size bed. And I'm going to uh, figure that's in the furniture folder. And then there's a bed folder within the furniture folder. And there it gives us a selection of beds from a bunk bed, a crib, hospital bed, and a few others. Let's choose the king bed. And I'm going to right click and insert it. I'm going to move my design center off the screen this time. And in comes the bed. I'm going to uh, put it up against this wall and actually what I could have done was right clicked and rotated it as I'm putting it in and give it like a 90 degree rotation no, I didn't like that rotation let's uh, rotate it 180 now oh, one more time let's play with that rotation 90 degrees 
What am I looking for? Probably a 270, would you guess? Yes, I'm looking for a 270 uh, degree rotation. So let's bring the bed into a good spot. Let's leave some room for some nightstands on each side of the bed. So I'm going to line that up with my top wall and then right click and enter. I've got two beds by accident. Let's right click on that first one and delete it. Again, if we look at our view cube in the 3D view, the home view, you can see we have a nice 3D bed now. Okay, we mentioned we want a couple of nightstands, so I'm going to return to my top view by clicking on the top in the view cube. I'm going to drag my uh, design center back in where you can see it. And we're looking for some nightstands. We may have to kind of experiment and search through the different folders. I know it's not going to be the chair folder, but I'm just kind of showing you uh, some of the things that are in these different folders. Uh, how about under table? In the table folder, let's see what we've got. It says night 18 by 18. So I'm assuming that's going to be an 18 inch by 18 inch nightstand. So let's insert it. Here it comes. Again, if you look on the uh, nightstand as it's coming in, there's a little slim rectangle uh, on the right side. I'm assuming that's like the drawer that opens up from your nightstand. So let's rotate that by right clicking on it. I think we determined 270 was a good rotation angle for where we're wanting it to go along this wall. And let's put one on the left side of the bed and another one on the right side of the bed. I didn't quite get those lined up very well, did I? We can come in and move those. They are just the uh, symbols that you can click on and then uh, click on the little handle and move it up into place. And when I'm zoomed in, it should make it a little bit easier to line up. Don't want it right against the wall. There we go. Okay, so there we have a nice bed with uh, two nightstands, a dresser, and a mirror. Again, let's play with some of our visual styles, see how groovy that looks with different visual styles. I like the conceptional a uh, lot myself, but the shaded with edges is pretty cool too. But again, let's eventually return to the uh, 2D wireframe and the top. Uh, view. What else could we put in this room? How about some uh, lamps on our nightstands? Two lamps. Again, if we look around, there's a lamp folder in our uh, design center. And I'm going to go with table lamp three. Right click and insert that. And let's see where it's coming in here. It's round, so we can just place it uh, right on top of the table, the nightstand that is. And again, I'm going to put two of them in and right click and enter. Now, if we look at the 3D view, they're inside the nightstand. That's not very good, is it? Okay, in the next step, we'll see how to move those to the top of the nightstand. All right, to move these lamps to the top of the nightstand, we need to click on our front option in the view cube. And let's use our move command, or should we? No, let's just click on the lamp itself, then click on that little blue handle. We're going to zoom in a little bit, and let's just drag it to the top of the uh, nightstand. And we'll do both of those. Now let's look at our home view again, and I think they uh, look like they're on top of the nightstand now. Notice I have them, have them selected, so it's not giving me the full zoom of my uh, bedroom. It's kind of zooming in, so I'm seeing the maximum uh, magnification uh, with the lamps being the highlighted objects. So let's hit Escape and hit the uh, Home tab again, or the Home icon, I mean. And there we have the full view of the bedroom. And the lamps are on top of the table again. Like they should be. Very good. 
All right, let's uh, finish up our bedroom design by, by uh, putting in a floor lamp and maybe a little side chair. So while I'm in the lamp folder, I'm going to uh, insert a floor lamp. And I'm going to put it over here by the dresser. Actually, that's outside the room. Let's uh, move the dresser in a little bit so we have room for the uh, lamp right by the dresser and let's find us a nice chair to put in the corner there's a chair folder in the design center and what looks like a nice chair how about a lounge circular chair for our bedroom we'll insert that maybe here in the corner how much do we want to rotate that what about 45 degrees oh facing the wrong way how about 225 225 degrees there we go that's what I'm talking about there we have a chair now let's look at that in a 3d view so I think we have a pretty cool looking room here the bed, two nightstands, lamps, dresser, mirror, and a chair, and a floor lamp. All right, we're going to see how to print this thing next. Printing things that are drawn in 3D is a little bit trickier than printing things that are drawn in 2D. Uh, AutoCAD has this feature called paper space and model space. Actually, we've been working in model space, so we can see things in a 3D model world. And if you look down at the bottom of your screen, there's a, a small indicator that says model at this point. So that lets us know we're working in model space. So if we want to switch to paper space, we just simply click on that option, and we see that we're now in paper space. And we see a nice 3D view of uh, of our uh, bedroom at this point but that's not what I want to print let's uh, first highlight that edge of that viewport that's called a viewport that shows the uh, the view of the uh, bedroom as we had it so we're going to delete that and also when we print we want a border so let's go and uh, reinsert our border however when you're working in paper space things are usually scaled already to fit the paper so we don't have to scale our border with a scale factor of 48 or whatever our architectural scale was we're going to keep it at one and uh, we'll just uh, go ahead and enter our title block information at this time and now we see we have a nice border laying in our paper space what we want to print or what we want to show uh, when we print is a kind of a top view maybe a side or in view of our bedroom and a 3d view so what we need to do is create what's called viewports and if we go to the view tab there should be a uh, section on the ribbon called viewports and we're looking for the named viewports and there's two tabs in the viewports dialog box there's the name viewports and the new viewports actually we want new viewports and let's choose well before we choose anything you can click on them to see what the different viewports look like between vertical horizontal three right and left three above and below three vertical and so on or four equal let's use a three of some type since we said we wanted a top a side view and a 3d view and let's go with a three right uh, setup. And AutoCAD is going to ask us if you look down in the command line at the bottom of the screen to specify the first corner of these viewports. So I'm just going to click somewhere slightly inside our border. And then for the opposite corner, I'm just going down to the bottom right of our border, just slightly above the title block and to the left of the border line. And AutoCAD will now create uh, three viewports for us. However, it, all three viewports show the 3D view, and that's not what we want. Okay, so to adjust these viewports to show like a top and a uh, side or front view, we need to go back into model space. 
So down at the bottom of the AutoCAD application window where it says paper now, let's click on paper and it switches back to model space. And these viewports are either active or inactive. Like right now the right uh, full height viewport is active because I see my crosshair in it. So whatever view your crosshair appears, whatever viewport your crosshair appears in is the active viewport. But let's go over to the uh, top left viewport and just click. And by clicking in a viewport it makes that viewport active. So we can click around on different viewports to make them active. But we want the top left viewport active and we're going to make that our top view. So we could click on the top of the view cube. That's kind of hard to see at this magnification. Or we could come up in the view tab on the appearance part of the ribbon. And if we click down you see there's different options to view from and we want the top view. So that may be easier to, to uh, deal with uh, when you're working in small viewports than trying to use the view cube. So there we have the top view of our bedroom. And now let's click in the lower left viewport to make it active. And let's make that the front viewport or the front view. Okay. So I think those look like a couple of nice views. What do you think? I think those are something we can probably plot. So now we're ready to uh, plot this drawing showing our top and front view of the bedroom and a little 3D view. So we're going to use the plot command, but first we need to return to paper space. So again, I'm going to click on the model option at the bottom of the uh, AutoCAD application window. So we're back in paper space. Notice when you're in paper space, also I forgot to mention this earlier, you see different icons. When you're in paper space, you see like a 30, 60 degree triangle, with an X and a Y in the corners of the triangle. And when you're in model space, you actually, of course, see the uh, crosshair in just one of the viewports. That's one way to tell. There used to be another icon in previous versions of, of AutoCAD, uh, but I don't see it right now. It may just be turned off. But let's, anyway, get back into paper space. And, of course, we're going to use our print command. And if you haven't saved at this point, I would probably recommend you save this before you print. Because you know sometimes things go wrong when you try to print. So let's plot this thing. And we'll choose the correct printer. And this time, even though we've drawn uh, something at a uh, quarter inch equals a foot, we've used paper space to create a layout. So what we're going to plot is the layout not by extensor or anything. We're actually going to print the layout. And the scale probably should work at one to one. One inch, nope, that's not it. One inch equals an inch. Or one foot equals a foot. So let's preview this. Oh, I picked the correct plot style table. Hey, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, well that's kind of plain. Let's uh, jazz it up a little bit. Let's cancel that for right now. And let's come back into model space and let's turn on some uh, visual style. Let's go with the shades of gray for our visual styles for the uh, 3D view and the front view. Now let's go back to paper space. Let's repeat our plot command. Choose previous plot if you went through what I did, otherwise set it up so that you're seeing the correct printer using letter sized paper. We're plotting the layout at one to one scale. And we got our plot style table uh, selected correctly. And let's preview that. And I think that's looking pretty good. So let's just right click and go ahead and plot that. Of course, make sure your name and everything is on yours. But that should complete our first experience with uh, working in 3D and using the Design Center.